All right, so we've gone double leg, single, both sides of the low single, all right? We'll go, we're gonna split the middle on this, what I call Iranian position, and then we'll, uh, if we got time, we'll, we'll get to high crotch. So that'll be kind of like all the leg attacks we're gonna see, and then we'll dive deeper into them after lunch, so you can kind of see the philosophy of where we're going. Now, single leg, I stop and cover this head, right? And this guy starts hopping his knees under and split, okay? I get to this position here a lot of times. Now, there's a lot of options here when I'm upside down. I talked about Ben Askin earlier. He was unbelievable here. He can wrestle upside down better than anybody I've ever seen. A lot of times, guys will be really good at hiding their ankles, okay? Some guys aren't, and they give us really big handles to grab on, okay? This first one we're gonna do, doesn't matter what he does with his ankles, right? If he's attacking my right leg, I'm gonna get my hand blocking in his crotch as he lifts me up. If he's attacking my left leg, I'm gonna get my left hand attacking in his crotch, okay? As he lifts me up, I'm gonna arch my back like I'm skydiving, and I'm gonna hop off the side away from the leg he's attacking. So if he's attacking my right leg, I'm gonna be blocking in the crotch the whole time, right? My goal is to just wiggle back, wiggle back, and then hustle to the corner, right? Okay, we're getting beat on our sprawl, and he starts to split me up. As he starts to split me up, this hand stays deep in the crotch. I'm gonna get to this point, I'm gonna arch my back, and I'm gonna spin off, okay? When I arch my back, again, takes his elbows past his ears, makes them real weak here. Then I snap my legs off, turn and face, all right? We call it midget cartwheels in our club. We're just doing a cartwheel on our head. That's pretty much what we're doing, all right? As he lifts me up on this kind of Iranian position here, I'm staying in the crotch, I'm bringing my heels to my butt, I'm arching my back, and then I'm cartwheeling out. Now, a lot of times I can start chasing this leg, just running into him, and run the position down here and just wrestle through it. All right? Again, he's on my right leg, I'm blocking in the crotch with my right arm. As he lifts me up, I'm cartwheeling, turning to the side that he's attacking. Here, okay, he starts to lift me up, arch, I'm turning. Here, going to the side he's attacking. Right here. And then I fire back into him. Maybe I lose the arm out, change to a double leg, run down the ankle. Same thing if he's in on my left leg. Left arm spiking. Left arm spiking. He comes in, walk me up, head to the mat. This is important. I can't be here. All right, my horn has to be trapped in the crotch. Arch. Spin off. Start driving into him here. Okay, pressure into them, wrestle through them. All right, here, Wyatt. You're so long, I'm so short, it's gonna be fun. All right, left leg, I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I'm fighting. He gets that leverage under. Here. Over the top. Notice I got this hook in here, I can drive. I just start wrestling through. Same thing if he's on my right leg. Halfway fast, right? Can we go to the field? Okay. Turn it into him. It's the arch that makes it snap out of his hands. All right, so we start on our feet. Why gets to that single? Come on, here, I'm fighting, I'm fighting. Pitch me up. I'm gonna drive in. Loosen my arm. Pitch the single leg. Far leg reach, wherever I'm at. Gotta get my head to the mat. Stay anchored in the crotch. Questions? Anybody need to see it again? We good? Let's get it go.